Howdy guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of something that I do in the, in the summertime to make a little extra money. And uh, it's something I didn't really know a whole lot about until I started, well, doing the job. But if you live along a bigger river, and I'm sure, oh, they probably do this along quite a few of the bigger rivers across the, the US anyway, there's what's called uh, relief wells. I'm sure you've probably seen them. There's tons of them down through here. I don't know how well you can see them, but we got, I don't know, 30 or 40 right here on this bend of the river. It makes the levee here, makes a big corner. And uh, what it kind of does is uh, each one of these things right here, you open this up and you have a well that sets down in here. That as water raises on the inside of the levee it builds pressure and uh, as the pressure increases in there instead of undermining underneath the levee and finding the weakest spot to get out they have these wells all drilled so that as the pressure comes up these lids will push up and it lets water come up out of these holes which are wells that are usually somewhere between 30 and 50 feet deep and it uh well relieves the pressure so it doesn't undermine underneath the levee like i was saying and stuff like that but what i have to do is go through and make sure that they uh are flowing the right flow make sure they're you know not clogged up because they have a lot of rust and a lot of uh stuff like that that builds up in the wells if they if they're not circulating water so you go through and you have to pump these and take your measurements we have a little rig set up here it's got a three inch pump on it and uh, a flow meter set here so we see how many gallons per minute we're flowing and stuff like that and we measure the drawdown on it which is how far the water level which is down in there I don't know if you can see it you can kind of see a reflection right now the water level is down oh about 10 12 feet depending on how high up in the air these are but uh once we start pumping on it you start pumping 150 200 gallons a minute it'll draw the well down usually if it's a good well only oh two to three feet and then the water will fill itself back in there and that lets you know that your flow is good and that it's your well is working properly but we'll get set up and we'll do some do some pumping and i'll show you a little bit of stuff that comes out of the wells you won't believe how much rust and stuff like that accumulates in the water inside of these but uh, stay tuned. All right, guys. So we got the pump all set up and we got our hose laid out here. And the first thing we got to do is we got to sound the depth of this well, which this is real scientific here. We got a plastic bottle with some water in it on a tape measure. And we drop this down in here. And we can hear when we hit the water down there as we go down through here. Right there. I can, they call this sound in the well. So you can check the depth here and we have our tape measure and we can see that it's, it's eight feet deep to the water right now. So that's our depth of water is eight feet down there. We hit water. So we need to keep track of that. And then we got to check our total depth which we just have a weight on a tape and we drop it down in the same way and we're going to see exactly how deep the total depth of this well is it'll just unwind off there until we reach the bottom and most of these wells are well approximately 48 feet deep so we'll just let her keep on going until we hit the bottom and we hit the bottom there so we pull back up and we can feel exactly when it hits the bottom down there. And this one's a little deeper. This one's 49 feet, three inches deep. But we'll keep track of that. And then after we're done pumping on the well, we uh, take our second measurements and see if we gained anything. Because lots of times there's a lot of silt and sediment at the bottom. So you can check your final depth. And then your water level will also change sometimes. And be slightly different maybe an inch higher or an inch lower depending on how it fills back in 
but uh stay tuned like i said we're gonna keep on going and uh we'll get the pump fired up and we'll start pumping some water out of this thing and see what kind of nasty stuff comes out of this one we're starting to draw some water up i don't know if you can really see it but that's pretty rusty it's kind of noisy out here but uh going to show you a little bit of what the water looks like when it first starts coming up out of these wells it's it can be different it can be rusty like this or there's a black really stinky like sulfur that can come up out of them too and this is what we're trying to get out of these wells to keep the flow up we got some nice orange gatorade there <laughs> once we once we pump on this for a while, once we get to the bottom, I'll try to get a picture of what comes off. There is going to be some real nice orange stuff. So we've been pumping on it for a while now, and we got relatively clean water coming out of there. And we're at our second depth. We go from, we go at the top, we drop down about halfway down the well and pump until we hit clear water. And then we're going to go clear to the bottom of the well and do our bottom clean and then pull it up and let it pump down there until we hit clear water again. And uh, I'm going to try to video that happening and show you some of the gunk that comes out of there. We might not get a super close up because I'll have to hold the pipe, but uh, we'll see how that goes. bit of a chocolate fountain there and rust that's the sludge at the bottom of the pump at the bottom of the well here we'll go down and we'll hit that one more time and then we'll let it pump for a few minutes until we get clear water some gray water that time so we're pretty clean on the bottom after we're done pumping this we'll take our measurements again and that's the end of that all right so well we're done pumping this well and it's kind of one of those things where i just thought well maybe other people have wondered what are all these things along the outside of the levee and what are they really used for but you know it's kind of an ingenious idea of a way of relieving pressure without undermining underneath the levees and uh it's just something that i thought you guys might like to see till next time see you guys later